Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about delimitation in Jammu and Kashmir. Now it is a news as the Supreme Court judged please challenging the recommendations of Jammu and Kashmir Delimitation Commission that has redrawn constituencies in Jammu and Kashmir. Earlier, the president had formed a three-member delimitation commission chaired by Justice retired Ranjana Prakash Desai. The government had constituted the delimitation commission after the bifurcation and downgrading of Jammu and Kashmir into two union territories in 2019 the petitioners argued that the constituencies across the country should remain unchanged until the first census after 2026 However, the government has stated that the Delimitation Commission was part of the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act passed in 2019 after the abrogation of Article 370. The commission has also faced unique challenges in carrying out the delimitation process, including a wide range of population density, geographical barriers, and inadequate conveniences along the international border now what is the delimitation commission delimitation is basically the process of redrawing electoral boundaries to ensure that each constituency has a roughly equal number of voters in order to prevent any one community from having an unfair advantage in elections the provision for delimitation commission in india is enshrined in article 82 of the constitution of india also under article 170 states also get divided into territorial constituencies as per the delimitation act after every census the first delimitation commission was set up in 1952 after the first general elections were held in india the delimitation commissions had been set up four times that is in 1952 1963 73 and 2002 under the acts of 1952 62 72 and 2002 Talking about the composition of delimitation commission the delimitation commission is a high level body that is set up by the president of india the commission is composed of a chairperson and four other members all of whom are either retired or serving judges of the supreme court or high courts the members are appointed by the president after consulting the speaker of the lok sabha and the chairman of the rajya sabha Also the delimitation commission is supported by a secretariat that is headed by a director. If we talk about its important features, the delimitation commission is responsible for redrawing the boundaries of Lok Sabha and Vidhan Sabha constituencies. The commission takes into account factors such as geography, topography and boundaries of administrative units such as districts and tehsils. The commission also takes into account the number of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in each constituency and ensures that their interests are protected. It also has the power to increase or decrease the number of seats in a state or union territory. Now coming to the key recommendations of the delimitation commission on Jammu and Kashmir, the new assembly would have 90 seats with 47 in Kashmir and 43 in Jammu, which is an increase from the earlier 83 with 6 additional seats in Jammu and one in Kashmir. The erstwhile Jammu and Kashmir state has 111 seats that is 46 in Kashmir, 37 in Jammu and 4 in Ladakh plus 24 seats reserved for Pakistan occupied Kashmir. For the very first time in Jammu and Kashmir, 9 seats have been reserved for scheduled tribes with 6 in Jammu and 3 in Kashmir Valley while 7 seats have been reserved for scheduled castes. The center should nominate at least two Kashmiri migrants to the legislature who would have the same powers as nominated members of the Puducherry Assembly. Now that was little bit about the topic. Let's take a practice question with reference to the delimitation commission. Consider the following statements. Statement 1 It is a high level body that is set up by the prime minister. Statement 2 The commission does not take into account the number of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in each constituency. Statement 3 Its orders cannot be called in question before any court. Now which of the above given statements is or are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now the correct answer is C that is only statement 3 is correct statement 1 and 2 are 
incorrect. Statement 1 is incorrect as the Delimitation Commission is a high-level body that is set up by the President of India and not the Prime Minister. Statement 2 is incorrect as the Commission takes into account factors such as geography, topography and the boundaries of administrative units such as districts and tehsils. The Commission also takes into account the number of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in each constituency and ensures that their interests are protected. I hope you like the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos, stay tuned to Next IS YouTube channel.